Hello everybody, welcome to part two. Um, I'm recording the intro at the end of the day. Quick hint, engine's out. Um, but the idea of today is engine out, bits off that I want to save and um, taken off, uh, new engine dressed and ready to go, uh, and just ready for part three where I'm going to clean the engine bay and put the new engine in. So without any further ado, let's have a look to see what we did today. Okay, so it's engine out time. So there's a few things that we need to do first and foremost. Uh, need to get rid of this crash bar. That's got to come off. Uh, this bottom bar across here, that's got to come off. Uh, that's just a few little bolts in there, you see. Um, we were toying with the idea of taking this off, but um, really, really big plug welds, we're not doing that. So what we're going to do first, we're going to drain all the fluids, drain all the coolant, drain all the engine oil, that sort of thing. Um, take off all the stuff that I'm keeping, like the air box, uh, I'm going to keep the alternator as a spare, you know, that sort of stuff. Get rid of things that are in the way, like the battery, um, battery box, that sort of thing. And then the idea is that once all this is out of the way, the, uh, the engine will drop down, the car will jack up, and then we'll just drag that engine out. We'll get the new engine, so just there, and we'll put that in as a reverse. So let's make a move on getting all these panels off. then so that was quite a bit of work uh, a lot of that was um, well, it took us quite a while I'll show you to uh, take off that joint and that joint that one was a particular pain just trying to split it but it's done now so whatever now we've got the uh, the center uh, engine mount undone which is just that one there so that's out that's down just a little bit and we're supporting the weight on the jack. Now what we're going to do is to undo two of those from underneath, because this part's threaded. Uh, undo two of those, so it's holding on one. Uh, under here, there is uh, a nut, right, just on there. That's going to come off, so then that just sits on that one. Then what we're gonna do is undo the remainder. Kane will stabilize one side. Undo that, I'll stabilize this side and then we'll lower it down on the jack and the engine will just come forward out of that gap. That is the plan, let's see what happens.
well now engines off stripped of the bits that I wanted uh, I wanted to keep the rocker cover because painting reasons uh, throttle body um, map sensor uh, cat because you know they're worth a fortune um, alternator uh, and they're all under that tarp so all that's off all that is going to go in the scrap in a minute so yeah done uh, that's out uh, in part three, I'm going to clean the engine bay, I'm going to apply some sound deadening, uh, pretty it up where it needs prettying up, um, and then we'll throw the new engine in. So, that's the engine out. Uh, engine bay cleaned, tidied, prepped, ready for the engine to go in. Uh, I've taken the OEM sound deadening out because it's a bit naff, it's no good, uh, and I've replaced it with some of the um, silver mesh foil pack. pack butyl type stuff you know the stuff you saw in the video um i've done that on a couple of cars before and it works pretty well uh, i kind of like how it works um either way it's better than the oem stuff so a little bit better is a little bit better isn't it um but yeah you know what to do uh, if you liked it then remember to like share comment subscribe while you're at it make sure you ring that bell uh, and you get notifications next time the next video drops which is going to be next week uh, and that will be when the engine actually goes into the car. Uh, you can also buy me a coffee if you so desire, uh, and make sure you follow me on Instagram down at the bottom here, and that will give you an idea of what I'm up to between videos. Uh, but yeah, you know what to do then, ring that bell, and I'll see you next week.